Hey everybody, how are y'all doing again? This is, I am Eric Anderson. This is the Grid Grooves channel where we're just taking ideas writ for rhythm patterns and running them through the groove, or excuse me, running them through the grid and uh, just to see what'll happen. So today, what, I want, what I'm doing today is I'm actually going backwards just a little bit because I, should, I really, I feel like I should have done this particular uh, this particular video a lot sooner in taking this hi hat and samba ostinato on the two bay on the bass drum and working uh, the previous grid groove on on the snare drum like this. So that's what I was playing in the intro. Is that if you go back a few videos and you see the four rhythms that were run through the grid at that time, I'm just going to take those four and I'm going to break those down like I did the previous video. And show you how they're all how the four rhythms are put together against the eighth note ostinato on the hi hat and the samba ostinato on the bass drum, being one and two and three in the bass drum. Right. So I'll do the same thing that I did with the last video, which is to break down the um, each one of the four colored rhythms against the eighth note hi-hat and uh, samba bass drum ostinatos and then I'm going to put the whole thing together at 50, 75 and 100 beats a minute. So, but before I go there, I just want to make sure that we're clear on this. The goal of this video, just like last week's video, is just to take, uh, is to enable you to see rhythms in a different way so that you can take what you do know and find creative ways to apply what you're comfortable playing to the drum set so that you can really unlock a lot more creative ways to bring about cool feel, cool groove, cool vibe, and all while doing primarily the things that you're already comfortable playing. So that's the goal is just to take the, take what we did a few videos ago and just move it into this kind of samba groove kind of thing and find out what it sounds like. So here we go, let's break these things down. So again, right, we've got the, the hi-hat ostinato, which is straight eighth notes. Here's the samba ostinato. One, two, three, two, three. Now here we go with the blue rhythm. Here we go. So those are the four rhythms that we're going to work with, with the eighth note ostinato on the hi-hat, the samba ostinato on the bass drum. So here we go at 50 beats a minute, and we're going to run this whole thing through the grid, and let's see what happens. So here we go. Here we go. So... Messed that up. I got the other one stuck in my head. So... One, There you go. So that right there is 50 beats a minute. So now we're going to jump right to 75 beats a minute and we're going to do the exact same thing. So here we go. So one, two, samba.
So that was 75 beats a minute. So now let's go back through one more time like we did in the very beginning at 100 beats a minute and we're going to see what happens. So one, samba. And there it is, right? I just went backwards in time just a little bit and brought up the grid group from the previous set of videos and just ran those same four rhythms in that same four, four, two, one sequence through the grid, but this time running it through up here on the snare drum as rim clicks, rim shots, instead of on the bass drum. So, and the purpose behind this and the goal that I'm after is showing you different ways that you can get creative with those rhythms that you do already know so that you can apply them to the drum set and in so doing you can wind up really unlocking not only the feel and the groove of a particular song but like with this one because it demands that you can keep that consistent ostinato on your bass drum uh, i will tell you this one here has really forced me to work on my nice quick doubles you know those 16th note doubles uh, on the bass drum or the diddles, whatever you want to call them. So not only does this unlock your creativity, but if you get stalled out because of a technique related issue, then this is going to force you to deal with that technique issue so you can get yourself to the point of playing those things that you want to play. And my friends, you should never be afraid of discovering technique issues that you have and then digging in and make, getting better with them because the only thing that happens is your playing improves the more that you dig in on your technique. So that is the goal of this video is to unlock ideas for you. So I got to ask, did we hit the goal of this video? If we did hit the goal of this video, most importantly is share it with as many other drummers that you know, or even with people that, that are writing songs and they think these are cool rhythms. So share it with them and let them use it so that they can achieve the things that they want to achieve. Uh, along with that, definitely give us the likes, definitely give us, a, give us the subscribes because those are cool. But if we didn't get it, please let us know why. Put down in the comments, it's like, okay, it kind of makes sense, but I'm still not getting it here. Or can you explain the technique that you use to put together the samba rhythm on your bass drum? Or, yeah, you know, why do you play the hi-hat the way you do? Or whatever your question is, please put it down below because I would love to engage with you on those such things. And you never know, the question that you asked today could wind up being the video that comes out in the near future. So that really is it, my friends. I am Eric Anderson. This is the Grid Grooves channel where we take different, we take the, we take the 421 grid system and we apply it to the drum set in our, in our habitual quest to find as many creative ways as possible to apply four rhythms to our drum set playing to unlock our creativity. So that's it, my friends. I'm out for this video. I will see you on the next one, and y'all take care, all right? Bye-bye.